Okay, guys, we're at the last segment here now today. What we're focusing in on very simply is the I'm sure Lorik. As you've seen, for our poetry, for our prose, for our drama, a lot of it's going to be in the present tense. So the I'm sure Lorik is the present tense. We have to get familiar with that. This is on page 113 of your notes, K3 Jeg. And what we're going to focus in on here is what do we do when we're talking about the present tense. In Irish, we have two types of verbs. We have verbs from on Ced Reinu, or it's verbs from on Dara Reinu. First, I suppose, grouping and the second grouping. On Ced Reinu, if you want to put a little arrow coming out of that, I've actually done it for you because I'm a lovely person, is our one syllable verbs. Shout one at me there. Doon, fog, glon, cur, brit. One syllable verbs, small little verbs. And what we do there is we just add a little ending on that lets us know who's talking and then what tense. So when it's me, it's curum, I am. Or if it's I leave, fog, fogum, A-I-M. So it depends on the person who's talking, what ending we put in. And then we've got two syllable verbs. Kriaknig, dushig, uskul, inish, immer, kiangle. Two syllable verbs and we're going to have a look at them in a minute. So what I want you to do now is fill the endings in for me there please. On may tu, she, she, mud, shif, she. May, me, to, you. She, him, she, she. Simple enough. Mwij, we, shiv, you plural, sheed, they, and you may see one saying BS, that's not bullshit, you've given up on me, it's the breeder said the free verb. And what the free verb does is the free verb tells us something's been done but we don't know by who. So I'll give you an example, itter, galore capri gakla, many sandwiches are eaten every day. I don't know every person who eats the sandwiches here in the school but I know they're eating her. Alter and ishkashin, gak majin, or alter and tishkashin, that water is drank every morning. I don't know who drinks it, but I come in and the water's gone. There's no more bottles left. So that's the breeder say. So I'm going to put the endings up here for anyone who doesn't know them. I've got verbs that are lahan then, and I've got verbs that are quail. And what's the difference there? When they're lahan, the last vowel in them is A, O, or U. And when they're quail, it's I and D. So lahan, A, O, and U. Quail is I and E. So you check the last vowel in a verb to be Latin or quail. I'm going at this quite fast because this is revision rather than seeing it. If you're only seeing the present tense for the first time at the end of third year, there's been an animal screw up. So you're definitely just doing a bit of revision here. So how many ones do you have to remember? Do you have to remember the Breeders' Servants? Look, not particularly. They're handy for poetry to show off, but they're not vital. Look at the ones. There's three different endings. There's an ending for me, there's an ending for we, and there's an ending for the rest. So me and we and the rest are all the same. So how do you know? So when you're saying, I put something, you write, let's use the verb cur. You want to say, every day I put something in, in my locker. So you say cur, C-U-I-R. The person is may, so you go here because it ends in an I. Curum. Do you put in the may? Current may? No. The I am noise gives you the may already. So, same with may and with mid. We don't put in the may and the mid, but with two, she, she, shiv, and shiv, you do put the mix there spelled the same way. So, he puts current, she. Or they put current sheet. He puts, they put. You keep the person when it's not may or mid in this tense. Is that okay? That's very, very simple up there. And then we're going to look at now, again, rewind that if you want, pause if you need those examples. For the two syllable verbs, same idea but different endings. Same idea, different endings. So what are our endings? I'll put in the endings again. Pause and write them down if you want, or just copy me as I do.
So again, you'll notice with this side, it's all fodders, all the fecky fodders everywhere. So that's what we're looking at. You've got an ending for may. And that's why in Irish, a spelling mistake is a fodder. Because look, for the one syllable ending, if you look over here at me, it's just A-I-M. But the two syllable ending, it's A-I fodder end. At the end, the way you even say it is different. Look, I put something, curum. It's a U-M noise for the I-M there. It's um, um. But when it's I buy something, can E-M. It brings that noise up to E-M, that E dash U-M. So it changes even the sound of the word. So spelling, fathers count as spelling mistakes. So just to be careful of that. And there's three different types of two syllable verbs in Irish. Stay with me. I know you're probably bored off your trees, but it's really important that we get this. You're going to do a few examples now. We've got verbs that finish in A-I-G-H. We've got verbs that finish in A-I-L. Immer in And what we do here is this confuses the hell out of people, and it shouldn't. It's really simple. So stay awake, stay alert, and you'll have this, and you'll have this for good. You'll have this between now and leaving search. This doesn't change. The tenses don't miraculously go, oh, change the plan here, we're going to flip everything for leaving search. You get this at junior cert level, you have a great foundation. To understand what's going on. So with the two syllable verbs, you're looking for an A-I-L finish or an A-I-G-H, I-G-H, or these three verbs. These look like one syllable, but they're two. Let's start up here. What you do is you need to take off something before you add something in. You must take away a part of the verb and then add something in. So for these ones, you take off the A-I-G-H or the I-G-H. Take that off. And what are you left with? You're left with C-E-A. N, N. That's now your frave or your stem. The root or the stem, whatever you want to call it. And from here, you go to the may ending. The now, all of a sudden, the last vowel is an A. It's not an I anymore. So you guess, is it lahan or quail from the stem, from the frave, from the root? And what do we get here? A, I, for the end. So canium. I buy. Every day I buy canium. Another type of verb, uskal. With these verbs, you take out the A and the I, but you keep the L, just the vowel. So write down what you have left. You have O, S, C, L. Don't forget your L. And what's now the last verb in it is an O. You go to two, usklian. You open every day, us clean to endure a you open the door every day. An immer, inish, and ahan. These guys look like one syllable, but they're treated like two. And all you take out is the last bell, I, I, and I. And you write I, M, or. That's what you're left with. And the ending for sheed, the ending for sheed that you're left for is I, father, O, N, N, Imrian, sheed. They play. Okay, there's no A there, apologies. Imri and she. And that's how you conjugate two syllable verbs. The only other thing that you have to remember for me is when we've got questions and when we've got a negative. So if you want to just keep your eye on that, I'm going to take it off the board just in case anyone um, isn't sure. Just pause it, make sure you take it down. Questions and negative statements impact the start of the verb. So for a question in the present tense, we use on plus an eru, and for a negative, we use ni, and we put in a shavu. What's a shavu? It's a h, very good, you're shouting at me. Anywhere you want, know the second letter in the word, where possible. So that's what we're doing there. I want you to have a look at page 114. And what you do is in the middle, you type in whatever, um, whatever thing is in English, and at the end, you put it into the past tense. Now, unfortunately, sorry, you put it into the present tense. I put it into the past tense for you there. So we'll do the first one at the board. Fog, if you follow me up to this whiteboard here. Fog is the verb to leave. So you write, to leave. And how do you put that? Do you leave every day? Do you leave school early? I'm fog until in school. So it's on, fog. On Do you leave 
I'm vlogging to a school, Lua got glad that you leave school early every day. Don't mind the example I gave you, it's just a type on my notes, apologies. So what I want you guys to do is you're going to pause me. From here, you're going to go and you're going to do those 15 examples. You should be well able, and you're going to have a red pen. When you come back, I'm going to have these written on the board. So you can pause me or you can just do them by the time I get them written up anyway. Give yourself 5, 10 minutes, whatever it takes. You've got the luxury now of slowing down, doing these properly. Racing, being the first one done and having them all wrong, is worth absolutely nothing. Getting half them done right in the right amount of time is worth something. It means you understand, but you need to get a bit quicker at them. That's no problem. But quality, I always say, not quantity. Do them right, don't do them fast. Okay? So I'm going to put the answers up here on the board. So that's what they all mean in English. And now I'm going to put up the Irish there. I'll put the Irish up in blue. It'll make it easier to see. And we'll put these all into the present tense. You can do them with me. So the first one I'll go through just in case. How am I doing this? Do shig is the verb to wake up. Is it one or two syllable? It's two syllables. So you're taking off the I-G-H. D-U for the I-S. That's your stem. The last vowel in the stem is I. Which is very good. Which makes it quail makes it slender if you want to come back over here with me so you're on two syllable aou so it's not this side it's this side and it's mwid so it's douchey and with i for the m i d we wake up douchey and with second one uskal uskly and che third one to wait or to stay fun on van and to question Question is like a question mark. Get up, Irig, Irian Shiv. Irian Shiv, you get up. Start. Knee tushy and shiv, negative. So knee, T H cause of the negative. O S, that's my stem now. What's the last vowel is an O. And what person is it talking? It's sheet, so knee, hussy and sheet. Ni hussy and she, they go over our margin, they don't start working in the morning. Walk, shul, shulamud. Take, to, ni hogan he doesn't take. Next one, finish, correctly. Question. On Greek and she, does she finish? Question. Up here, order. So it's ordi and shake. He orders. Sing, con. On gone and to, do you sing? Terrible question mark. Scream, we write. Scream with. Cower, to help. Cower into. Did we start on? To see him with. Do we start all the time? And Jiltik. D H R U for the L. T. Take off the A I G H. And you're left with A F for the L. Ni Yultim. I don't refuse. Ni Yultim. Cower. I don't refuse help. Okay? They are our verbs. There. There are examples of 15 of them just to get you used to them, to get you practicing them. At any stage, you may go back, do them again. There's no hassle at all.